In abstract algebra, a homomorphism is a structure or preserving map between two algebraic structures. The word homomorphism comes from the ancient Greek language, mu o micron sigma meaning same, and mu o micron rho phi eta meaning form or shape. Isomorphisms, automorphisms, and endomorphisms are special types of homomorphisms. Definition and illustration. Definition A homomorphism is a map that preserves selected structure between two algebraic structures, with the structure to be preserved being given by the naming of the homomorphism. Particular definitions of homomorphism include the following. A semigroup homomorphism is a map that preserves an associated binary operation. A monoid homomorphism is a semigroup homomorphism that maps the identity element to the identity of the codomain. A group homomorphism is a homomorphism that preserves the group structure. It may equivalently be defined as a semigroup homomorphism between groups. A ring homomorphism is a homomorphism that preserves the ring structure. Whether the multiplicative identity is to be preserved depends upon the definition of ring in use. A linear map is a homomorphism that preserves the vector space structure, namely the abelian group structure and scalar multiplication. The scalar type must further be specified to specify the homomorphism, e.g., every R-linear map is a Z-linear map, but not vice versa. A module homomorphism is a map that preserves module structures. An algebra homomorphism is a homomorphism that preserves the algebra structure. A functor is a homomorphism between two categories. Not all structure that an object possesses need be preserved by a homomorphism. For example, one may have a semigroup homomorphism between two monoids, and this will not be a monoid homomorphism if it does not map the identity of the domain to that of the codomain. The algebraic structure to be preserved may include more than one operation, and a homomorphism is required to preserve each operation. For example, a ring has both addition and multiplication, and a homomorphism from the ring to the ring is a function such that f equals f plus f, f equals f, f and f equals 1 for any elements r and s of the domain ring. If rings are not required to be unital, the last condition is omitted. In addition, if defining structures of were not necessarily preserved by the above, preserving these would be added requirements. The notion of a homomorphism can be given a formal definition in the context of universal algebra, a field which studies ideas common to all algebraic structures. In this setting, a homomorphism f, a b is a function between two algebraic structures of the same type such that f equals mu b, f, for each n a r y operation mu and for all elements a1. An A, the function between two algebraic structures of the same type is a reduction of the structure group. H to G is also called the G structure. For example, a group is an algebraic object consisting of a set together with a single binary operation, satisfying certain axioms. If and a groups, a homomorphism from two is a function F such that f equals f, f for all elements g1, g2, g. Since inverses exist in g and h, one can show that the identity of g maps to the identity of h and that inverses are preserved. Basic examples The real numbers are a ring, having both addition and multiplication. The set of all 2 times 2 matrices is also a ring, under matrix addition and matrix multiplication. If we define a function between these rings as follows, where R is a real number, then F is a homomorphism of rings, since F preserves both addition and multiplication. For another example, the non-zero complex numbers form a group under the operation of multiplication, as do the non-zero real numbers. Define a function f from the non-zero complex numbers to the non-zero real numbers by f equals z. 
that is, f is the absolute value of the complex number z, then f is a homomorphism of groups, since it preserves multiplication. f equals z1 z2 equals z1 z2 equals ff. Note that f cannot be extended to a homomorphism of rings, since it does not preserve addition. z1 plus z2 z1 plus z2. As another example, the picture shows a monoid homomorphism f from the monoid to the monoid. Due to the different names of corresponding operations, the structure preservation properties satisfied by f amount to f equals f times f and f equals 1. In formal discussion, because abstract algebra studies sets endowed with operations that generate interesting structural properties on the set, functions which preserve the operations are especially important. These functions are known as homomorphisms. For example, consider the natural numbers with addition as the operation. A function which preserves addition should have this property. f equals f plus f. For example, f equals 3x is one such homomorphism, since f equals 3 equals 3a plus 3b equals f plus f. Note that this homomorphism maps the natural numbers back into themselves. Homomorphisms do not have to map between sets which have the same operations. For example, operation preserving functions exist between the set of real numbers with addition and the positive real numbers plus with multiplication. A function which preserves operation should have this property, f equals ff, since addition is the operation in the first set and multiplication is the operation in the second. Given the laws of exponents, f equals x satisfies this condition. 2 plus 3 equals 5 translates into e2 e3 equals e5. If we are considering multiple operations on a set, then all operations must be preserved for a function to be considered as a homomorphism. Even though the set may be the same, the same function might be a group homomorphism, but not a ring isomorphism, because it may fail to preserve the additional monoid structure required by the definition of a ring. Types in abstract algebra, several specific kinds of homomorphisms are defined as follows. An isomorphism is a bijective homomorphism. An epimorphism is a surjective homomorphism. Equivalently, a B is an epimorphism if it has a right inverse G. B A, i.e., if F equals B for all B B. A monomorphism is an injective homomorphism. Equivalently, a B is a monomorphism if it has a left inverse G, B A, i.e., if G equals A for all or A. An endomorphism is a homomorphism from an algebraic structure to itself. An automorphism is an endomorphism which is also an isomorphism, i.e., an isomorphism from an algebraic structure to itself. The trivial homomorphism between unital magmas is the constant map onto the identity element of the codomain. These descriptions may be used in order to derive several properties. For instance, since a function is bijective if and only if it is both injective and surjective, in abstract algebra a homomorphism is an isomorphism if and only if it is both a monomorphism and an epimorphism. An isomorphism always has an inverse f-1, which is a homomorphism, too. If there is an isomorphism between two algebraic structures, they are completely indistinguishable as far as the structure in question is concerned. In this case, they are said to be isomorphic. Category theory Since homomorphisms are morphisms in an appropriate category, we may consider the analogous specific kinds of morphisms defined in any category. However, the definitions in category theory are somewhat different. For endomorphisms and automorphisms, the descriptions above coincide with the category theoretic definitions. The first three descriptions do not. In category theory, a morphism f, a b is called monomorphism if f g1 equals f g2 implies g1 equals g2 for all morphisms g1, g2. 
xa, where, denotes function composition corresponding to e.g., equals f, in abstract algebra, epimorphism if g1 f equals g2 f implies g1 equals g2 for all morphisms g1, g2, bx. Isomorphism if there exists a morphism G, B A such that F G equals 1 B and G F equals 1 A, where 1 X denotes the identity morphism on the object X. For instance, the inclusion ring homomorphism of Z is a subring of Q is not surjective, but an epimorphic in the sense of category theory. This inclusion thus also is an example of a ring homomorphism which is both mono and EPI, but not ISO. Kernel. Any homomorphism f, x, y defines an equivalence relation tilde on x by a tilde b if and only if f equals f. The relation tilde is called the kernel of f. It is a congruence relation on x. The quotient set x, tilde can then be given an object structure in a natural way, i.e., x, y, equals, x, y. In that case the image of x in y under the homomorphism f is necessarily isomorphic to x, tilde. This fact is one of the isomorphism theorems. Note in some cases, a single equivalence class K suffices to specify the structure of the quotient, in which case we can write it x, k. Also in these cases, it is k, rather than tilde, that is called the kernel of f. Relational structures. In model theory, the notion of an algebraic structure is generalized to structures involving both operations and relations. Let L be a signature consisting of function and relation symbols, and E B be two L structures. Ra implies R B H for each N A R Y relation symbol R in L. In the special case with just one binary relation, we obtain the notion of a graph homomorphism. For a detailed discussion of relational homomorphisms and isomorphisms, see formal language theory. Homomorphisms are also used in the study of formal languages. Given alphabet sigma 1 and sigma 2, a function h, sigma 1, sigma 2 such that h equals h, h for all u and v in sigma 1 is called a homomorphism on sigma 1. Let E denote the empty word. If H is a homomorphism on sigma 1 and H E for all X E in sigma 1, then H is called an E-free homomorphism. This type of homomorphism can be thought of as a monoid homomorphism where sigma the set of all words over a finite alphabet sigma is a monoid with operation concatenation and the empty word is the identity.